What's goody? What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today we are building on to the Hondo and we're trying to get this thing to the track, get it track ready. Today we are installing our Kirky. I did a lot of the work off camera because this thing is like a pain to uh, get in here. Uh, it, it sits lower and now it sits further away from my pedal so now I gotta adjust my clutch and everything but it does fit in here. I got it in there. It's on the bracket. I just need to go to the hardware store and get some bolts and besides that I want to show y'all my new tow truck that's going to be pulling this car to races and stuff like that. This is a 2020 uh, Dodge Ram. Uh, this is the Eco Diesel, and this thing is absolutely nuts, man. I love this truck. It's fully loaded. Now let's open it up. Keyless entry everything honestly all the bells and whistles i really wanted a truck that's going to be 100 percent perfect let's uh there we go this thing has all the bells and whistles everything man 360 cameras for towing uh, heated steering wheel heated seats vented seats it has literally everything like look at that 100 360 degrees camera zoom in for the tow hitch like this thing has a tow package, everything, sensors, uh, four wheel drive, like this thing is nuts. Like this is my new tow truck, wireless charging. Oh man, like the seats in the back are just huge. These seats back here also recline. So today, like I said, we're gonna be trying to go get parts for the Honda, but I just wanted to show y'all my truck. I'm happy I got this, so now, we have something to go to streetcar take over denver and all the other major events i'm happy so let's head to the parts store and try to get the stuff for that kirky seat and then also i have to try to get my old sparko seat in the passenger side but this bracket here isn't mounting up to those rails right it's like off i don't know what bracket this is um but this is like we're gonna try to either modify it or just get a start like with a whole new bracket i don't know what i'm gonna do I need that seat in the passenger seat because Paige always complaining about the old stock EK seat. So we're trying to get rid of that EK seat and get her a luxury seat in there. So let's head off to the parts store and let's get some parts for the haunt, uh, for the Lucky Pendy. This is the 3.0 Eco Diesel. This is like the economy, economy friendly diesel, even though diesel is already better than gasoline. Uh, this is like the eco friendly diesel. Uh, this has the 33 gallon. Uh, fuel tank, so I got 611 miles to E and this is I've been driving it for a little bit It's actually really good uh, It takes it gets like 30 miles uh, to the gallon on highway and like 24 on the in the city So this thing is really good. I don't know. I don't know the to how much uh, miles per gallon I'm gonna get towing but I have 391 gears in here so it's made to haul a lot of weight but we're just gonna be pulling a little honda so we should get good gas so right now i'm about to run into true value uh going to true value that way we can get these bolts for the kirky seat like i was saying and then we'll continue our driving and show y'all uh a little bit about the truck as you can see this thing is so much quieter than the old diesel we had the um the 73 it's so much quieter like i said it, it just has all the bells and whistles leather heated steering wheel air conditioned like it, i'm not air conditioned but like uh, heated air conditioning seats uh it just has all of the bells and whistles that i love about this truck i don't know why i keep saying that but I, it has everything that i love about this truck uh so let's go into true value let's knock out some stuff real quick we got our bolts true value that's place to go for bolts uh now we're gonna head over to the storage like i said i gotta swap either this seat out and try to see you know what i'm saying what's wrong why the bracket doesn't fit we're going to modify the bracket but i don't know what i'm gonna do yet so i'm trying to go over to the storage and try to figure this thing out i might have to grab the old one bolt the old one in we're trying to make it to the track at 11 o'clock right now it's currently at 9 24 so we got a couple hours but um to continue the the drive of the truck we could do that because this truck is really nice um but like I said, you can't, you can barely hear like the diesel, like, you know, that tick that you normally give, like tick, 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 tick. you normally hear that. Like you can hear that outside the car, but you can't really hear it inside the car. Uh, Ram or Dodge did everything they could 
to try to make this diesel quiet because the Gen 2 and the Gen 1 were louder inside the car and outside the car. So what they want to do, they want to make the ride as comfortable as possible. So they tried to make this one more quiet. They, they went with the uh, iron block in this one, um, different pistons, different crank, different uh, rods. They went crazy on the Gen 3s. The Gen 2s and 1s had problems with sp spinning bearings, but this one, they kind of fixed that. I don't, if you stay on top of your oil changes, like you don't have that issue at all. But if you try to ride out your oil, that's when in the Gen 3s, it kind of becomes an issue. But I've never had, or I've never seen anybody have an issue with the Gen 3s. I'm just saying like there is a couple people out there, but this one is actually pretty perfect. Like I said, it has 391 gears and then it has a 33 gallon tank, 33 gallon tank in this truck is crazy because this is a half ton truck with a baby diesel that can go 610 miles until E. Just imagine that, that is insane for a truck. 610 miles till E. I don't let it get past the three quarters. Uh, if I'm driving around, let it get past three quarters because this tank is so big that it will actually cost a lot of money to fill up, a lot of money. Half a tank uh, yesterday when I filled my truck up, was 80 something dollars, like $85 to fill up from half a tank all the way to like full. That is insane. I know for a fact, I do not want this truck ever running empty. <coughs> Besides that, like the little other little things, it has lane assist. Uh, so where it keeps me in the lane, I can li literally completely let go of the steering wheel and it will bounce me back and forth and keep me in the lane. I don't like the feeling that it does when it's bouncing you in the lane. It feels like it's going one time go out of control. I don't like that feeling, so I'll, I'll leave that alone. I got it turned down, um, but it does have lane assist. It does have auto, like, auto speed. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called. Let me see what it's called. Uh, it's called ACC. I don't, I don't know the acronym for it. Adaptive Cruise Control, that's the name for it. So when I'm driving down the road, the car, if I put it in cruise control, it will actually determine the distance and speed that it needs to go when I'm trailing behind somebody. I love that. Mini Cooper didn't have that. This car has it. Uh, this car literally is probably the newest car I've ever owned. I really want to spoil myself and get something that's that's good, that I can tow with, be comfortable. These seats are really comfortable. Um, like I love that I don't have the fucking the the seat in the middle. I hate it. The seat in the middle. Like most people love it. I hate it. Uh, the back seat, like I said, are real is real huge. And on top of that, the seats back there recline. That's like another uh, option they added to this truck. I didn't add it to this truck, but it got added onto the truck. I bought this truck used. It only has 34,000 miles on it. Uh, it had 30,000, but I've been driving it for a little bit. Yeah, this thing for, for a quarter ton truck has a lot of torque. It's supposed to have like 400 and some, um, foot pounds of torque i don't really know the specs like that i i, I saw them before but i really didn't pay attention to it like that but i love this truck man this truck just looks super clean something i really want like i didn't i've never i've never purchased a, a dodge ram oh it's a car me right here oh that's crazy i've never purchased a dodge ram before ever in my life never purchased one but this one by far it's crazy compared to like the normal Dodge Rams I ever see. I always see like the, those like the normal cost efficient, cost efficient trucks that everybody buys gives these trucks a bad name. So when I went to go try to look at this truck, I was in the hopes that this truck was probably gonna be all garbage. It was gonna be cheap. I was just gonna get a truck to tow, but also I need something to replace my Mini Cooper because my Mini Cooper is literally on its last little legs because somebody rear-ended it. So I was like, you know, I don't want a work truck. I don't want a small display, like uh, cloth seats. I don't, I don't want none of that. I want something I can drive every day and something I can daily and something that can pull the Honda. So I, with this truck, I got best of both worlds. So that's pretty much it for this video on the truck. I'm just wanting to keep this video pretty short and sweet. That way we can uh, get the next video for the track. So let me know in the comments if you like it or if you hate it, this thing is nice man I'm, I'm in love so 
We finished working on the Honda and getting everything situated with that so we can take it to the track and then in the next video, y'all see the track video. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.